Hey guys, I wanted to show you what happens if you get a bolt stuck. In this case, it's in my carburetor, and all of my um, fuel bowl screws are all seized in there. And it all has to do with the previous owner and how he really didn't take care of it. And because it's never been really touched in 20 years, these carbs are, uh, they're all, pretty much all the bolts are, are pretty stuck in them, so it's, it's really a pain in the ass. I just got one out, but I wanted to share uh, kind of how you would get one out. Um, this happens and machine shops are expensive to take these out so if you want to rebuild um, kind of what I would do is try to take these out myself. Now you can use like a little easy out set like this um, they're pretty short sometimes they'll work In my case they didn't uh, so I'm not really gonna worry about these um, but another set that you can use that works for most of the time uh, they look like kind of that it's like a spirally get a little bit closer I probably won't focus on it but it's kind of a spirally uh, bit there and you can find them at Home Depot and they usually come with the drill bit as well so what I would do is try to drill these out and you could so you could either drill these out and retap the threads or you could try to use these other version of like an easy out to, uh, to do it first. So that's what I'm going to try doing is using this version of it um, first and then if I have to I will drill it out and retap the threads. I'm not too terribly worried. Um, I just have quite a bit to do. So to start with I'm going to lubricate my drill bit. I like to use uh, power steering fluid for a little bit of lubrication. Um, just makes it a little bit easier when you're cutting. Here. So put that over there. Take my drill bit gonna run it through the fluid and then I'm gonna put this in my drill now I'm using a Milwaukee drill that's my um, I pretty much have all Milwaukee tools that's what I like to use All right, and I'm on the drill setting so I'm gonna pick a screw um, these are all pretty much stripped out evenly so just for the sake of this so it's easy for me to hold it up I would like to do like this one all right, so once you get it started, kind of go a little bit slower. Once you get it started, then you can, after a little while, you might want to wipe your bit and then put a little bit more lubrication on it. All right, so after a little while, we're going to check this real quick and see if this will fit and if it still spins. Now if it still spins in there, which is the spiral bit, uh, you're going to want to drill a little bit deeper. It kind of works on a wedging action where after a little while it will wedge itself. Alright, so that... It's actually... I wouldn't say it's almost, it's almost there. It's not there just yet, but it is almost there. Almost there. All right, so I think this is pretty much there. We go in and it won't spin, so um, this turns counterclockwise to unscrew and it won't spin. So that's what we want. Take this build, drill bit out. We're going to stick this in our chuck here. And then we're going to change our setting on the drill. So we have it on drill mode, but we're going to change it all the way to one in my case. One or two. And then we're going to put it in reverse and press down firmly and spin it slow. And then pretty soon you'll hear it pull out. So yeah, that's a, that's a guy that looks like there's a sealant on this. And I wonder if that sealant's part of the problem causing all these bolts to seize up in here. Um, takes a little while to do, a couple minutes, but realistically it's not that hard. And if you do a couple at a time and then, you know, do this, um, it will work pretty good. And if you just want to see how to get this out of here real quick, if you have a pair of pliers, you might be able to just grab them with the pliers. So let's see if we can do that. Yeah, 
grab with the pliers and it'll pull right off. So that's how you do it. Pretty simple.